Hi, my name is Lewis, and we're sitting here. Um, well, I'm not sitting here. I'm going to teach how to phone verify a lead. Basically, um, when you do call, and I love picking up business cards. When you do call business cards and you want to phone verify leads, you should know your uh, call to action. That call to action is making sure you leave and you get the mailing address. So I want to get the mailing address. I want to phone verify these leads. And I want to see if they're nice on the other end uh, of the phone. So I'm going to be calling a few here. Um, I picked up these business cards. And I live in a really small town here in Floyd. I prefer calling cell phones. They have them. This guy's name is Tom. And I just want his mailing address. You can also phone verify their email, but usually if it's on the... Hello? Hi, may I speak to Tom? Hey, this is Luis Garcia here in Floyd. I just picked up a business card. How would you say that again, please? I, I'm, this is Luis. I just picked up your business card in town. Yes, sir. And I actually, I, I moved here about eight years ago, and I, I have some um, some information I think would be good for your for your business here, the coaching service. Can I mail you something in, in the post office box? Yes, sir. All right, cool. Um, what's your address? Zero two three. Then there's three words. Marsh, M-A-R-S-H. Ren, W-R-E-N. Lane, 24018. Would you want this lead? I have the address, the phone, everything you would want. So I'll, I'll, I'll target this lead now for the next year. Now, not this, the next year, but here's four people that own businesses. If these are the type of leads that you're looking for, uh, for your home business, then here's four people that you have to uh, follow up with. And the fortune is in the follow up. It's not about just um, sending them an inf some information and not following up. Remember, nothing has changed. It still takes six, six contacts before they buy. So if you have a system that uh, that can contact people easily, um, then you would make sure you, you contact these people. But these people for sure would join my home business in the next year. Um, and there's a good percentage of that they do. Uh, I've called these people. That means I've called these business cards and I've told them that I have something to mail to them. And they all have given me their mailing address. And that's what I want. I want the mailing address. I want the mailing address, their phone number, their email address. If you have something that's good to sell, by having this information, they should buy. Period. If they won't buy, then you're selling the wrong thing. Okay? Bye bye. That was easy. Now, now at the beginning, um, again, it's it's straight up uh, call and try to get their information. I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna try another one right now. The, the first, you can talk about whatever you want afterwards, um, but. Uh, this is the plumbing. I mean, some of these I look at. It's a cleaning service, a plumber. This guy does cabins. Well, this girl, Virginia Mountain Cabins. I, I like this one here. And I'm going to call these because I'm going to make sure that I, I let them know about Send Out Cards. Because our goal here is just to let people know about our company and show them Send Out Cards. Send them a card and tell them about it. That's the goal. So, um, even the plumber, there's a there's a there's a card here, uh, it was handmade, and I was talking to my wife today, and I said, you know what, this is the handyman guy, and um, I'm gonna call him because I'm gonna let him know about send out cards. I want to plant, I want to be the one that plants the seed. Um, the second goal after planting the seed is actually getting the mailing address. And if you notice here, I just did two. I got the mailing addresses in the back. I'm gonna go ahead and call. Um, hey, I'm Katie. hey Katie, hi, this is Louis Garcia. I picked up your business card in town. I'm here in Floyd. Uh -huh. Hey, um, I do a lot of graphic design and I have some pretty neat contact management systems. I'd like to send you some information in the mail. Is that possible for your photography business? Yeah, I have. Cool. All right, so okay. can I send you some info? Yeah, that'd be great. Okay. Um, Yes. Okay, uh, 
Zero. Well, that's great because, um, you know, I, I'll tell you, give you a little background. Um, we run a green card business um, online, so I've been a marketing and web, web developer for and graphic designer for a long time. Uh, we'll go from there. I'll, I'll send you some information about myself and and uh, maybe yeah, we can network. All right. Great, great. So if, if your wife is looking for any kind of home business or anything like that, I have something that uh, she'll, it'll blow her socks off too. So hopefully we'll network in the future. Great. All right, I man. The Come on by. Easy. Bye. 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 I just phone verified about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards. I got a few here that I left messages on. These are people and business cards that I've picked up, and I'm just. Want, wanting their mailing address because I really want to send them some information that I th Hi, may I speak to Caroline? Okay. Hi, Caroline. This is Luis Garcia. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Oh, Garcia. Oh, I'm good, Luis. How are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. Listen, um, I'm not sure if you're aware of this, but I, I'd love to show you um, something I do with, with uh, greeting cards that might help your, your business. Um, and it, it's also an income earner, so I just wanted to share with you what I do um, to, to live here in beautiful Floyd. Okay, I'd love to talk with you. Here's one here, and this is very, again, it's very primitive, and I can't stress um, that um, anyone can do some, anyone can do my home business. I hate to say what it is, but anyone can do our home business. Um, I think that this person deserves a call, so I'm going to go ahead and try to verify this mailing address, which I have here, but more importantly, what I want to do is I want to feel the person on the other side of the call. You're not trying to sell um, the call. You're not trying to sell them anything on the, on the phone call. The phone call's sole purpose is to get the mailing address and verify it and to also figure out how friendly is this person on the other side.